Welcome, we are Ron and Judy of Full Time Dream. We are on a journey to full time RV life. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of our tips, reviews, and how we are solving real life problems in our path. Thank you and welcome back to our returning viewers. We appreciate your support. It was a 70 degree day in the last weekend in October. We headed out for our final trip of the season. We needed to empty our tanks and get our camper winterized. I booked us the weekend at Willow Bay Campground in the Allegheny National Forest, which is in Bradford, Pennsylvania. We did a full review on this park in a previous video, so be sure you check that out. It was dark when we arrived. The campground was pretty empty considering it was the end of October, not really surprising. But there were a lot of tent campers. Storms rolled in during the night, dropping the temperature significantly, and it was cooler and rainy the next morning. We decided to have breakfast, and then after breakfast we headed out for a 30 mile drive to Kinzua Dam. We also did a separate video on this too, so make sure you check that out. Even though it was a rainy day, the fall colors were still beautiful. We had a nice ride and drove into Warren after visiting the dam. Later in the afternoon, we got back to the RV, had some lunch, and then went through the park to the boat launch. You can see from these pictures the lack of water. This is a result of that tiny dam 30 miles downstream. water level is up from about Memorial Day to Labor Day so people can enjoy the outdoor recreation. You can see how steep this boat ramp is and how high the water level usually is. It still amazes me just to look at this and see how much water that tiny dam can hold back. We decided to treat ourselves to a great dinner since it was my birthday weekend. So we drove around over to the other side of the water and ordered dinner from the Horseshoe Inn and took it back to the RV. French onion prime rib definitely hit the spot. Sunday morning was bittersweet of course. The sun decided to shine brightly. Checkout wasn't until 2 p.m. but we couldn't stay and enjoy the day. We had way too much to do. This, there was definitely a nip in the air when we woke up and our neighbors who had full hookup sites across from us unfortunately woke to frozen sewer and water lines. We started to slowly pack up the camper. I started to bin stuff up for the winter storage and doing a little bit of packing so that when we got to our house we could easily unpack the camper. Next stop, the dump station. Always gotta have fun stuff going on. I usually line Ron up and he does the rest. Since this was our final trip, we rinsed out the tanks. Unfortunately, the water pressure wasn't great, but everything was clean when we finished. Thank you. 
So on to the drive to our house where we will store the RV and finish up our winterizing process. Yeah, I shed a tear as we left our last campground for the season. It was a rough year. Hopefully 2021 will bring better things. Ron forgot to open our fresh water tank before we left, so we had to do that in our driveway. I worked on the inside while Ron got the pink stuff ready and pulled the plug on the water heater. It really is a simple process to winterize. Just make sure you don't forget your outside showers. So for the most part, it was a great weekend. There's still a, lot, a bit of packing up to do in the camper, but for now, heading back to Mom's, hopefully the winter will fly by and we will be out and about in the RV soon. We will still be out adventuring, so please subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any of our adventures. Until next time, thank you. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon.